The honeybee is a precious insect, vital to our ecosystem. <laughs> Bees pollinate many agricultural crops and other flowers and plants and account for $118 million to Tennessee's economy. And when you're talking about our own food supply, about every third bite you put in your mouth is a result of bee pollinated crops. UT Extension Specialist Dr. John Skinner works with beekeepers statewide and monitors bee populations in the wild. On this frame are mostly worker bees. Here he checks on these colonies at UT's Ag Research Center, where bees make honey and more bees. He wants to prevent so-called swarming, which cuts down on production of both. If we find eggs, we know that there's a healthy laying queen. We've seen bee populations go down here and around the country. Reasons include a mysterious ailment called CCD, or Colony Collapse Disorder. But Dr. Skinner thinks a bigger concern in Tennessee is that mites and other pests are attacking colonies. UT researchers are now rearing queen bees resistant to these pests. That's the queen with the white spot. Our knowledge in genetics has improved a great deal. And we're getting better at breeding bees and also at selecting for certain traits that bees have that may make them resistant. In Tennessee, we've lost nearly one third of our bee colonies in the past year. Apparently, CCD is not an issue here, but we're still losing bees, and experts want to know why. UT specialists are also looking at improper use of pesticides as a possible cause for the decrease. The university is teaming with the Tennessee Department of Agriculture to help beekeepers manage their colonies, which would boost the population. A lot of times, the beekeepers aren't treating their colonies the way they should. They're not putting the medications on for some of the diseases that are coming out mm -hmm. that, because they don't know about it. And what we're trying to do is get the word out to them to let them know that they need to treat for certain things. While some people may fear this insect because of a potential sting, we don't want to see bees go away. Our landscape, our food supply, our economy are all dependent on a thriving honeybee population. This is Chuck Denny reporting.